Hey, good evening. It's Wednesday, July 3rd, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. Such a blessing to be able to be out here with you again in just the wonder of God's creation as the sun's about to set. I've been looking at Psalm 19 the last 10 days or so on my personal study, and I've shared some of that with you. But this psalm is an amazing psalm because it begins by speaking of the wonder of God in creation. As, as he opens the psalm, the heavens declare the glory of God. Wow. God's awesome power is displayed in the heavens. Whether we saw it in the recent eclipse, whether we saw it in the, um, you know, the, the auroras coming so far south, whether we just see it in the magnificent and powerful storms that God sends, God declares his power. And we see it in the sun, is harnessed by God and controlled by God. And then David moves on to how God displays his power in his word and in his wonderful law, about how it keeps us, it, it keeps us refreshed. It brings light to our eyes brings joy to our heart, lets us know how to live in this messed up world in a way that's going to protect us and honor God. And then he talks about how living this way is going to be something that will protect us, expose the hidden sins that lie deep within, and help us to attack those sins that we can see by loving his word the way that he urges us to in the psalm. But then at the end, the last verse, Psalm 19, verse 14, David ends with this amazing prayer. And it's one I've been guilty in the past of looking at. So isn't this a nice, calm, non-controversial way to end it? Just a peaceful thing to say so everybody's happy. That is not what's going on here. Listen carefully to how David ends the psalm. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Wow. What David is calling for is for all of my thoughts, all of my words, even the words and thoughts that no one else hears, to bring honor to God, to be oriented towards God, to realize that he gives me my next breath, to help me be conscious 24-7 that I don't have to pay for my sins because of what Jesus did. This is a bold prayer because David is calling us to represent God well, live for his glory in my thought life, in my words, so that anybody that I talk to God is going to be well represented. Not so much in handing out tracts or those kinds of things, just faithfully representing God in all that we do. We look at the political chaos that's around us. God is in control of that. He's going to humble us. We look at the powerful, chaotic weather. No, it's not chaotic to God. Because as Job says in chapter 37, he's moving everything. The storms are responding to his command the opportunities that we come to be with people, people that may be irritating to us. God is bringing them to us so that we can bring honor to his name, so that we won't be people pleasers, so that we won't, won't cower, so we won't dominate, but we operate in a way which brings honor to God by everything that we do. That's mind-blowing. And then the inner thoughts that I have, when I can be afraid or ashamed or, or whatever, David is saying, may those thoughts bring honor to God. May they be pleasing to God. So now this prayer, the scary part is, God, David is saying, live that way. If I look at myself, brothers and sisters, I don't do that. Sometimes I do. But this prayer is calling me back to say, I've got to make this a 24-7 thing where it dominates me, where I'm blown away by it. I'm blown away by God. And I see everything around me. 
as an opportunity to give honor and glory to God. Not just to be mad at people, not just to feel hurt and offended, not just to be complaining about what I don't have, but to realize that this God has orchestrated my life in such a way that if my thoughts are honorable to Him, if my words represent God well, I'll be doing what God has called me to do. What a beautiful thing that is. What a glorious thing that is. Just as David says in Psalm 139, we just talked about this. Search me, O God, know me, see if there's any hurtful way in me. And now, David's taking this to the next level in Psalm 19. He says, Lord, let everything that I think, let everything that I say, represent you well, so that you're honored and pleased by these things. Not in the sense of keeping score, that you're gonna somehow smash me if I don't. But that so that my heart, my thoughts, my words show the wonder of your love displayed to me. So listen again to these words. Don't think of them as something calm. Listen to them as kind of a call to arms, a call to action. It's gonna require courage, faith. And yes, it can be scary. But God can overcome our fears if we are consumed with Him. I'll leave you with these words. Think about them in this light, maybe in a different light than what you thought before. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. What a glorious, glorious way to begin each day with that commitment. Give that some thought. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow on the 4th of July. I'll have a, a special uh, 4th of July video for you. Thank you for the pleasure of being here. Maybe you can hear the cows in the background. Such an honor, such a blessing. Thank you so much for being a part of what we do here at Everyday Talk 24-7. You have a great evening. Good night.